Okay, so today I'll be looking at question seven, which is looking back at your preliminary task, what do you feel you have learned in progression from it to the full product? Here are the two products that I have created. The one on the left is my preliminary coursework, and it was for a school magazine, whereas the one on the right is my final product, which is for a music magazine. And as you can see, there is a large difference between the two products. Um, I think my preliminary task is a bit more basic uh, in terms of conventional features, as I don't include a lot of conventions compared to my final product. Um, I do think I have learned a lot in the progression from my preliminary task to my final product. Um, something that I have learned is uh, about layout and where content should be placed because um, as you can see in my preliminary task I think that the layout is a little bit odd as there's more content in the upper third of the page whereas in my final product there are contents everywhere which might seem more appealing to an audience. Um, I've also learned about images and camera shots uh, as you can see my preliminary task is a mid shot however the image does not have a direct mode of address whereas in my final product it is also a mid shot however there is a direct mode of address which i think is more intriguing for a reader as they will feel connection to the artist um, solely looking at my preliminary coursework now i think that i actually did quite a good job considering the lack of knowledge that I had on the software that I was using. Um, we began using InDesign and at the start I wasn't very aware on the different tools and how to use them and also I wasn't 100% knowledgeable about all the different convention conventions that a music magazine should include and so Looking at the conventions that I did use, however, I have included a logo, which I think is very important in a magazine, as it gives that magazine an image, and therefore gives a reader something to associate the magazine with. Um, the image is actually quite a quite a good one, I think, as it connotes a welcoming environment, which um which is perfect for this type of magazine seeing as it is a school magazine. The image is a mid shot which is a conventional feature for any magazine however it does not have a direct mode of address which most magazines do. Um, there is a date at the bottom which is key for a magazine as you know people want to know if they are up to date with the uh, issues. Um, obviously there is the masthead which is clearly visible, however I do think that it could have been a lot bigger maybe, uh, taking up a bit more room, there's probably a little bit too much space around it all. I've also got cover lines, which are very appropriate for a, music mag uh, a school magazine, as they associate with school and education. And finally, I do have a puff which is just another way to attract a reader, reader. However, the puff is in an odd position as normally the puff is normally placed at the side of the magazine. However, I have placed it at the bottom for some reason. Now, here is my front cover for my rock magazine of my final product. And if you compare it to my preliminary coursework, you can see a large difference in terms of use of conventional features. In my preliminary coursework, I did not use many conventions, seeing as I was not really aware of them at the time. Therefore, I do think that I have made a massive improvement from that product to this product. That is because the amount of conventions I have used has increased. Some conventions that I did not use in my preliminary coursework, I have in, I have used in my final product. Uh, some of those include the strap line at the top, which is simply there to entice a reader, 
seeing as it is at an eye level, it is like it will be the first thing that they see. Therefore, it, it is very important to have that in a magazine, as it's just another way to entice a reader into buying it. Another thing that I surprisingly did not use in my Trinity coursework is a main cover line. Now, a main cover line is one of the most important features that can be on any magazine because it really makes up the entire magazine. It shows the audience what the magazine will be about, and without that main cover line, they won't really be aware of what it will include. Um, another thing I included is a pull quote, which is quite common in most music magazines and other magazines. It's quite a common convention. It simply just gives a reader a little more insight on the article. And I think it's that is a good thing that I have used it, as it's just another way to intrigue a reader into reading my magazine. Another surprising thing that I did not use in my pre and coursework is a price and a barcode. I did in fact use a date, which was good. However, the price and barcode was not there. However, on my final product, I have included all three, which is very important. Even though they are very simple conventions, they are extremely important because a reader needs to know how much the price is, otherwise they're not going to buy it without actually knowing the price. A date is important because readers want to keep up with the latest issues, and obviously a barcode is just essential. Okay, so now looking at my contents pages. On the left is my contents page for my school magazine, and on the right is my contents page for my music magazine. As you can see, there is a massive difference between the two pages. Um, they definitely do look very different. The contents page on the left looks so much more basic and unappealing. There there really is not enough content on that page to fill up a whole magazine. There's not enough content to actually be appealing to an audience. Um, also, there is a large gap below the content which is bare. There's nothing there. It looks a little bit odd. And even though it is good to have space in your magazine, this, however, does not look very appealing. It looks quite unprofessional. Now, if we compare it to my music magazine, there is a big step up, and clearly I have learned a lot considering the conventional features. I think that uh, in the final product, I have included many more conventional features and by doing this I have made my contents page look so much more professional. The image itself makes the contents page look professional as it does really work with a rock magazine, a music magazine. It works with the genre and overall I think I have learned a lot considering how to begin with I was not very educated in the software that I was using and the I was not educated about all the conventional features of a magazine. Okay, so now looking at the contents page for my school magazine, uh, solely looking at the conventions right now. Personally, I think that I did not include enough conventions for my magazine to appear professional. Uh, I really did need to include a lot more. However, at the time I was not very aware of the different types of conventions. Therefore, I think I have done all right in that aspect. And also considering that the, the conventions that I did use are actually very important ones. For example, the title Obviously that is a key convention as it tells the reader what page they are on and what the page is about. Um, page references, they are a great convention to use as they are very helpful for a reader. If a reader wants to 
go to a specific article that they think they will like. That page reference instantly tells them where to go, making them a lot easier, making it a lot easier for them. Therefore, they will enjoy the magazine much more. Also, I have included a special feature, which I think is great for a magazine as it further entices the reader to carry on reading. Um, the great thing that I have included is a house style. I have kept the house style throughout throughout the magazine so far. Um, by doing this I have kept with the colour scheme basically. I've stuck with the red and gold which is special for the logo, the the actual school. Therefore that is that is good that I have kept up the house style considering again considering since I was not very knowledgeable at the time. Finally, we will be looking at my contents page for my music magazine. Now, if we compare this contents page to the contents page of my school magazine, there is clearly a massive improvement and personally I think I've learned a lot. Um, the main things I have learned are what conventions are needed in a contents page to give the reader enough information and enough contents for them actually to enjoy the magazine and to be intrigued to read the magazine. So some of the main conventions that I have used that I did not use in the preliminary coursework are the magazine title. Now having the magazine title in the contents page is another common convention it simply just carries on with the house style and also having the logo that also carries on the house style it simply just creates the image for the magazine furthermore I have included a date and the issue number for the magazine now I think having the issue number for the magazine is vital because it tells a reader what issue they are on and it tells them if they've missed one uh, or if they're late for one again having the date also shows them that now I've also used uh, article descriptions now I did not have any descriptions for the article in my preliminary coursework but now having included it I think it was a very good idea because I think it is a good idea to have the description for a reader to understand the article a little more. It also shows, it also gives them the opportunity to see if they want to read that article. It saves them time from just flipping through the book and seeing which articles they will enjoy or not. Um, I did include a special feature in my preliminary coursework and once again I have carried on doing that. I have used an exclusive feature. However, furthermore, I have used extra features, which is just more content for a reader, which is good, as it gives them enough content to satisfy their needs, and I think it works with the price of the magazine. They are getting what they afford. Um, I've also got a page number of the actual page, the number for the page, at the bottom corner. I think that's just a common feature in all magazines. It's just there to tell the reader what page they are on. However, I did not use that in my preliminary coursework, which is probably a bad, bad, bad thing that I didn't. It's just, it's just a common feature that should be included. It's very simple, but also effective. Now the image. I think I've learned a lot about images and what images should be included to make a, a magazine look and suit the genre that it's supposed to be in. Uh, I think this image really works well with the colours. It doesn't it doesn't stand out like too badly. It fits with the layout. And overall I think that I have learned about layouts and images from the the whole production, throughout the whole production. I have learned a lot and I think that that has helped me 
create a profile.